Cool. So this should be a... I mean, they played last tournament, but it was reasonably close, um, I want to say, at least in Grands. Um, yeah, Davox is coming in, just kind of trying to take all our money, but... And without Nick, it's a bit harder. I mean, a bit, um, well, a bit easier for him without Nick. Um, it's a bit harder for us to defend the home turf, but we'll get, you know, hopefully we'll get there. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Nine. To be honest, like the before this tournament, the last couple were a bit bad, but we had some like pretty decent stretches of you know, 15, 16. Yeah. Oh, well, it's SA. It's a small scene. Anyway, getting into it. Um. <laughs> God. One of the, the big thing's going to come down to how competent this set um, Davox's tech chasing is. <laughs> or if Kai just does stuff like that. So. <clears throat> it, yeah, it really is. Um. And the problem is that um, there's just not that many like safe things that lead into grab that you can do at like low sense. You can't just kind of land a um, dash attack or a fair into grab. Another thing about Delux actually is that his um, SDI has gotten really good, including um, on platforms. He'll hit that arms attack on back air pretty much every time. Which. Mm. Yeah. And the thing is. Um, we saw before when Kai went for back on the platform, the side flight, and Davox hit the tech. He went for shine instead. But I think at that percent, you can probably, well, like high percent, you can probably just do something like okay, either down smash or forward smash. I guess if he turn around down to if it if it kills, yeah, if it if it feels high enough to kill, yeah. Mm. Oh, really good match. Yeah, when you need something that comes out fast. Kai's got his back. Please. Oh. Oh, <laughs> He just, I think, he was trying to go for the gimp, but, like, the offstage gimp, but he just didn't have enough time. Mm. Yeah. 
So it was a good read by Davox to, um, he just assumed Kai would jump out of shield. No when, when, you know, when a Sheik's nearby, it, it gets scary. You just want to get out of ASAP, so people jump. Doubly so when they're near the ledge. They, um, people love, I, I know myself, people love to jump out of, um, you, just, you, know, you get you some sort of, like, say, ledge option, and then you, when you're on stage, you just, um, panic a bit and just do a full hop. Yeah, it's like, oh shit, he's gonna come. Um, he's gonna do an approach. Oh yeah, this isn't the best five. This is just best three. Hits. So presumably Kai, uh, de um, Devil's Bannon, uh, FD, and then. I guess, like, he felt comfortable. He seemed to, like, be pretty comfortable on the stage, and apart from a couple of. Yeah. Ooh. He just can't get out of disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. God. Kind of spooked. We'll see if he can get regain some composure. Not those dash tags though. That's when that, like that dash tag is the sign that like Sheik's starting to panic a little bit. So it's like, oh yeah. But, I mean like for someone experiences that box. Um, yeah, it's kind of like oh crap, I gotta get a hit. Hmm, that's true. Oh, let's see what this leads to. Mm. One thing I realized, like, when being tech chased from the Fox point of view is that, um, DI in and then tech the opposite way is actually pretty terrible just because it gives them so much more time to react and, like, less distance overall to roll, so... Okay, he needs this game because he wants to... That was a, such a good... Oh. Nice. Mm. Oh, you're right, yeah. It is one all. Neither of these two people want to be in that loses. That way. Yeah, I mean, after that, then it's like Ruben. Ruben into, um... Mm. It's actually not quite as bad. I'm still in that mindset that Mark's here and that there's like five people that could realistically take... Like, I mean, like... There's a possibility for... Uh, Brad likes to to take the tournament, but it's very unlikely. Yeah. That's yeah. Mm. Oh, he gets the SDI out, but he still gets grabbed anyway. Fade back, so he gets grabbed, and then... Oh, no. No. Or maybe he's going to have some clever extension from Fade, but... He just gets fed by Sheik instead, and dies, but, you know, spawn, stage, put out a back air. Worked. Hmm. Yeah, so many more things open up. 
Um, maybe just, just, just like don't get ASDI down shine door. See, like Kai does that a lot. He does that shine a lot. He like reacts a bit later than usual and just is content with getting the shine. And I mean, at that, at, that percent, at that percent, he could just do a standard get up into um, back air. And then, you know, you land on platform assuming that. Because, like, if the if um, Davox doesn't hit the Amps attack, then he's dead anyway. If he does hit the Amps attack, which you should be you know, planning for, then you land on um, the platform and either down smash or X smash. Or down tilt. Turn around, down tilt, whatever, you know. Oh, this is... Hmm. Oh, that'll do it. It's... He's back in, he's got a little bit of... I mean, it's Falco. It's Falco Sheik. They can both blow each other off. Um, she kind of has to wait a little bit before she gets the chance to blow back her up, but... Ooh, let's see what we can get. Oh, we spot those shinings. Oh, that down there would have been huge if he landed. Oh, the early dares. Uh, just, uh, few too many flubs near the end. Flubs or panic decisions. Mm.